to my channel how are you doing today okay so in today's video i'll be talking about the things i love about living here in finland um i've been asked that question several times like what are the things you love about living here and all of that and i remember that when i first came that was like three years ago i made a video about um this talking about the things that i love about living here in finland and all of that and um i've been asked that question again and again Another thing is that I have so much experience now compared to when I first came. I have so much experience now. I've learned a lot. So, okay, I need to make a fresh video about this. And um, I hope this answers you guys' questions. Okay, so number one is the safety. I noticed that it is actually very safe to live here in Finland. You don't have to worry about your life or worry for your life. Like uh, maybe someone is going to attack you or someone is going to waylay you on the road, maybe in the dark alley and maybe attack you or um, rob you of your bag or your phone or stuff like that you know there's this sense of security and this sense of safety you don't have to worry for your life and um, I'm saying that based on my own um, background where I'm coming from I used to live in Lagos State and um, I must say honestly that not it is not um, in all parts of Lagos that you feel that um, freedom to walk around the way you like or any time of the day or night or just move around and all that some places are actually no-go area, so you have to be very careful. And also, I noticed that the kids here can actually go to school by themselves and come back. So it's actually very safe to raise your kids here in that you see a child of about six to seven years going to school by himself every day and coming back by himself every day. There are so many countries of the world where you have to take your child to school and then bring your child back. You can't let them go by themselves. So... I don't know why it's like that here maybe because it's a smaller country but it's actually very safe it's so common for you to see Finnish kids and even foreign kids going to school by themselves every day and coming back that is really really good so there is this um, sense of peace as well for the parents they don't have to worry about anything because the level of safety is really high so that is a good thing number two is the Finnish sauna I love sauna I remember when I first came everybody wanted me to try the sauna they kept inviting me to their homes like come to my house to have sauna like I don't think so one day I decided to have sauna and I went in <laughs> feeling very confident the first the, the moment I entered the heat was just overbearing it was just too much that i screamed oh my god it's too hot it's too hot and i ran out <laughs> the second time i had sauna i sat on the lowest bench where the kids normally sit but now it's actually better like i love sauna i i, I love having sauna and to me it's like my one of my moments my me time and i can take off my hair and skin and just relax and just exfoliate and all that so i love sauna it's so relaxing and so refreshing and when you have sauna before you go to bed you sleep so well so yeah i love the finished sauna that's number two number three is that the seasons are so unique and so distinct they're so different you wonder if you're living in the same place like when i first came i came in autumn i noticed that the um Everything was so um, bright and sunny and um, it was so colorful <laughs> like the trees had different colors some were red and um, some were yellow and um, it was just so different colors and so nice and colorful and then um, winter came winter there was snow all over the place and everywhere was white I'm like and all the um, leaves fell from the tree and I was like okay is this the same place because the trees were so like leafless <laughs> There was no uh, uh, leaves anymore and then just covered in snow and I was like, okay, is this the same place? And it was so distinct and beautiful on its own. And then the nice thing I like about the spring is that the flowers start coming up. So you see different kinds of flowers on the trees. So all the seasons are unique and different on their own with different things happening and they are all beautiful on their own. And it may not be anything special to you. Maybe you're already used to that, but... Um, some of us foreigners we are not used to that so it's quite interesting and nice to us so I love that every season I can expect something different from each of the season and um, they give me something different in, uh, a, a different kind of beauty and um, that is quite interesting and I love that yeah number four is the snow I love snow so much and um, I remember when I was little I used to dream about playing in the snow I'll see myself in the dream playing the snow and all that just having fun and 
<laughs> I don't know why. And funny enough, we don't have snow in Nigeria, so I've never seen snow, but I actually loved it so much. And um, I saw snow for the first time here in Finland, and um, I remember then I was at my boyfriend's apartment. <laughs> Then my boyfriend, but now my husband, we are married now, so that was a long time ago, like uh, when I first came. So I was at his apartment and he was cooking and I was just sitting down on the sofa, just relaxing. And he just looked out of the window and he said, hey, I thought I should look out. And I looked and I saw snow, like I was so happy. I was so excited and I was just jumping up like... It was so exciting for me because I've never seen snow in my entire life. So that's one of the things I love about living here, that I get to see snow like on a constant basis, something that I love that I've not seen before. It looks beautiful. It's really very beautiful. Number five, chocolates. I love finished chocolates. They are so good. Especially this one that is made by Phaser. It's so good. We just saw a video recently where uh, we are testing some um, finished candies and chocolates. So check it out. And... Um, it's so good. Their chocolate is so... I've eaten chocolate like all my life. It's one of the things that I love. Back in Nigeria, I eat lots of chocolate. And then um, we have so many international chocolates. I've never tried Fini chocolate before. So when I came here and I tested the Fezer chocolate, it was so good. It, it's like caressing or sensitizing <laughs> your taste buds and just hitting you and just... Uh, mm, I can't explain it. <laughs> It is so good. You should try the Feza chocolate, and it's. I think you can find it in in, um, in the stores where you live. Just try Feza chocolate. It's so good. Number six is the honesty. Like I always talk about it because it's so amazing to me. I've been here for four years, and I've noticed many things. I've seen many things. The level of honesty and transparency I've seen in this place is really, really amazing. And um, I give you an example. Maybe you have things to sell, so you can go to the second-hand store and then maybe you can just leave your things there and then just put the price tags and then you can go home and later in the evening you can come to collect your money. Like, it is like that. You can actually buy the things and pay even when no one is watching. You can actually trust someone here if person, the person says to you, um, maybe you're in a relationship with him or her and she says to you that I love you, you should trust that the person is honest and the person means it and the person is just open and transparent to you and if you're in a business with a finished person you you'll be sure of 100 percent honesty and transparency like it is that serious i don't know how it's possible but I, i'm yet in my four years of staying here i'm yet to see a dishonest finished person and of course i know that all over the world there are honest people everywhere like Hey, I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, here the level of honesty and transparency is like amazing to me, and it's just incredible. And then the seventh one is the personal space. I like this one too. <laughs> I like that over here. You have your space, people don't budge in on you. There's this personal space. I always talk about personal space in my videos, right? Because I love it. <laughs> Someone would actually give you like lots of personal space and um, be extra polite to you and to me i like that because i'm the kind of person that i like to be private even if i'm on youtube and um i make videos on youtube i like to have a private life and just leave things some things up to be private and uh, do not take away these seven things that i seven things that i mentioned and i'm i'm, I'm absolutely happy living here so do not take away the safety do not take away the sauna do not take away the personal space and the politeness do not take away the snow do not take away the beautiful seasons and then do not take away the uh honesty and please 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 do not take away the chocolate <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so that's the end of this video i want to know what you guys think about these things i talked about and um if you're a foreigner living here i want to know what you think about these things i talked about and which of them you like or if you have some more things you like about living here please put in the comment section and if you're a finished person watching this i want to know what you think about these things as well and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for visiting i would like for you to subscribe to this channel by hitting that red button down there Thank you and also turn on the notification button so that you know when I have a new video so you don't have to miss any video. And then if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up. Thank you so much. And I'll be seeing you all in my next one. Bye. Mwah.